run off the bridge. I'm assuming they're pretty close to it. Yeah, I don't have a headset down here, unfortunately. Oh. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I know it's not the Theater, but we're in the theater. And the company is called Molani, but before we even do anything, I just have a question. Who in here knows how to step? Mm -hmm. Alright, with the hands raised, I'm going to need you to come on up here. Come on up here. And you're going to demonstrate the way that you step, okay? Come on. Give my hand while you come up here. Wait a minute. Here we go. Hold up. Wait a minute. 
community, um, helping really local artists um, get, get back on their feet uh, because of the impact of COVID-19. And we're going to talk a little bit about that later, but I really just kind of want to ask J Jason a couple of questions because um, he didn't want a big fancy introduction and all. Uh, but Jason, tell us how Milani was conceptualized, if you will. When I was in high school in Albuquerque, New Mexico, well, before that, I was a military kid. I was that kid who was always kind of new-ish in the different places. So when I got into Al at Albuquerque, there were no black fraternities, no black sororities, nobody around. But I had seen stepping on a video, the Divine Nine Fraternities and Sororities. They had did a, a unity step for the NAACP Awards. I recorded it for y'all young ones that used to be VHS tapes. I rewound it, rewound it, and I practiced every single thing um, and started accepting. So from then, you know, I started step team in high school, but I always thought of the name Mobati because I saw what a traditional step show looks like on college campuses, the competition style, you know, you get up to, sometimes up to 12 or 15 minutes, but they're no longer than that. They're big, they're dynamic, and my attraction for it just grew over video, and then we created a step team. But then I always had this idea in my mind to continue to experiment, open it up a little bit more, so break open the traditional step mode and see where else it can go, you know? So throughout the years, we've, uh, so many different artists, different types of artists, cellists, like people who are not just dancers, artists from all over. We have had a painter in, in here, tap dancers, cellists, flamenco dancers, um, contemporary ballet, everybody, um, and we collaborate all the time. So with all these different influences, it's kind of like the whole world came to us. <laughs> we did all these different dance styles and performance styles, and we just keep it, experimental. We keep changing it, we keep moving it. So our current cast of, um, of artists that we have on board, every single person, when they come in, they influence a new piece or how a piece moves and changes. So it continues, like an amoeba, it continues to morph and change. But that's how it got started. We just really, really wanted to experiment with what we can do with just our body, not banging on things, not drums, not trash cans, not other stuff, just the human body. So that's how I got started. Awesome. And um, I know that you are one of the three founders, correct? Yes. So uh, we, we have Antoine, right? Antoine, yeah. Right now, today, he's in uh, Oakland, California. Okay. And we do have Khalid Freeman here. Yeah, Khalid. Yeah. I want to give a shout out um, to the, the founders. Um, and it's, it's just amazing watching the movement. It's just so infectious. But, um, does it surprise you how many people aren't familiar with stepping? Yes. Well, throughout my years of moving all over the place and still 
realizing that every that it, most or a lot of Americans still don't know it or they've never seen it before. They might have, oh, that, oh, I kind of saw that once 18 years ago, you know? But people like Spike Lee, when they put it on films that go worldwide, that's how people actually understand what's going on. Unless you went to a college where there were step shows, it really is. It's a small number of people when you compare it to the 330 million that we have in America. It's still new to a lot of people. So that's one of the things that we like about being in Las Vegas. We know, you know, we definitely know that there are black fraternity sororities over at UNLV. Um, but we like to be an ambassador and share and spread the art form of stepping and body percussion in general. Awesome. So again, we're going to talk a little bit later about um, what this partnership has meant to um, Malawi. But um, before we see the next piece, can you just briefly tell us a little bit about um, the educational component of what Malawi does? Yeah, well, everybody noticed we're not using anything but our bodies. You talk about this is one of the most accessible art forms. <laughs> we didn't even press play on music, right? It's so accessible to teach, and it, that's where it comes from, you know, from the college experience. So it really is. For every stepper that I've known, they always end up teaching. You pass it down, you pass it down to the grades below. And there's so much discipline and just, you know, teamwork and ensemble building and listening and collaboration amongst it. So you teach so many different lessons just by creating a step team at a school or going in and dropping in and do a one week residency. And then you start to see their brains explode. So in Las Vegas, we do work with the Smith Center, who has their arts education outreach program. We go into assemblies all the time. I work with Nevada Arts Council, who may set us up with a residency at a certain school for like a, basically a week or a two week run, or certain organizations. We also just started a, a partnership with um, the Pioneer Center up in Reno. So we're really trying to hit all of Nevada, you know, with the educational component. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for coming out tonight. No, this is not the end. But um, again, just welcome to our staff meet and greet. Y'all ready for some more? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, so like we just talked about, it's very educational. It comes from an educational setting. So right now, we're just going to talk a little bit about what does that all mean? Does anybody know or have you all heard of the word fraternity? You know what that is? Basically, it's a group of men who get together during their college experience and they form a brotherhood, right? Now, it's, hmm. <laughs> now, you see, there's lots of, lots of <laughs> stories about what goes on in the brotherhoods and what they do to pledge and just to get on, but their basic thing is they're community service groups. They are formed to create community and to create service for it. They may do toy drives or coats for kids and toys for tots and things like that. They may clean up neighborhoods uh, or host fundraising, base, uh, basketball games, things like that. But they also have a little bit of fun. You know, they go out to the games. They go and they're each other's friends as well, you know, and they help each other with their homework because why are you in college? You should be passing your grades. So they help each other and they just make sure that they got each other back. It's a brotherhood, right? So right now, Danielle, she's going to come out and she's going to tell you a little bit about the sisterhood. Please stop. Hey. <laughs> um, so I am a part of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. That is a sorority, uh, black, one of the black colleges, um, one of the black sororities out here. Um, so what sorority does is actually a sisterhood as well. It's a network of opportunities. We get together during our college years. We step, we have fun, we do community service, lots of community work. We're involved in political and uh, political involvement, international awareness and involvement, physical and mental health. We do programs for financial literacy and overall education. So we're involved with the youth, we're involved with the adults, the community-based. Um, it's a great, great, great opportunity if you ever get a chance to just join an organization and really feel that community, really feel that network, feel that best friendship, some of my best friends, some of my best sisters, the closest people that I'm with um, are, I pretty much join them um, in the organization. So. When colleges, at colleges and fraternities, um, in colleges and universities, excuse me, um, on college campuses, you have fraternities and sororities. And when you see them together, what do you think that they do? Besides, like, you know, they'll host an event together. You might learn a little bit, you know, might host a party together. But one of the things that they love to do is do a unity step. So we're gonna show you what a unity step looks like. Do y'all wanna see what it looks like? Yeah. I don't think they want to see y'all. Y'all want to see what a unity is? 
that looks like? Okay, we're gonna show you, we're gonna show you, okay. So first, before we show you, we gotta take it all the way back, back. Back, back, back. Back, like back here. Like back, back. Like back, back. Y'all remember the song? Back in the day when I was young and out of here. And even more of us some days, I said and wish I was a kid. Back in the day. Come on. Come on. But some days I said and wish I was a kid. Back in the day when I was young and out of here. And even more of us some days I said and wish I was a kid. I said back in the day. I'm going to tell y'all a story. We go like this. Y'all remember way back when, you and your friends, one little ball in the hall, a picture breaks, falls off the wall, couldn't see the food, but daddy walk in, he yelling, Boy, I'm gonna slap the black off of you! Mm -hmm. uh -oh. mm -hmm. You're at school, you're playing duck duck goose, you got kicked in your trick, and your knee got bruised, ooh. But while the other kids are reading Dr. Seuss, you in the nurse's office, chilling with your box of juice. Uh, uh, uh. It's recess. Hey! I'll pass my test, no big breath. Today I won't be kick last. Dodgeball, kickball, y'all, I'm not the worst. And what we playing, y'all? I got you on first. Okay, I got this. Talk about going home. It was amazing. It was amazing. But like I said at the top of the show, 
we get to experience culture. It's all about culture, you know? Yeah, we work on our rhythms, we work on preciseness, everything like that, but artists are all over the world. We're all a little different, but we always find that connection, all that, that, that thing that makes us open up or exchange energy or just receive and just take it all in. So right now, we're inspired. <laughs> we're inspired by artists. So right now we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. Artists, that's what we all are. In your own universe, you're a super duper star. And that's great, celebrate. But it would also be wise to realize that other people just don't see through your eyes. Part one, we're all young and dumb. Make your mistakes, learn from them, pack your bags and move on. Cause you're your own worst critic. It's all right to admit it. Don't let it fester feeling less than an artist that's hypocritic. Do your best work, hit return and submit it and forget it. Cause when you through, I ain't thinking about you. You go home, wash your butt, hope they wash theirs too. <laughs> artist. Stay true in whatever you do, and good stuff will happen to you. Part two. Thank you. 
right for sure. <laughs> All right, now, so, uh, since y'all got that figured out, y'all doing great. In order to really be part of that, that fraternity or sorority, you got this body percussion down, but now we're going to add a, we need a pledge, all right? I'm going to introduce my girl, Cam. Yeah. Yeah. And she's going to teach you guys a pledge. Boom, 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 boom. 
competition going on. Don't let me down, y'all. Y'all got all that, right? Y'all got all that? Thank you. 
come, we become very strong sweets. Without any assistance, we tie the loose. Without any assistance, we lynch our instruments, choking out our unique symphony of sound and color. Without any assistance, we hang in the distance, no longer playing, but allowing ourselves to be played. Let us play with notes and rhythms of an intimate spirituality that still holds a cultural duality. See, we play both the iambic pentameter of Shakespeare and the verbal ones of Sean Gay. Let us play. So a lot of times it's just from our personal pockets, you know. Um, 
and uh, specifically left when we started creating Pati. Um, we actually lost one of our spaces, and then it just got really scary, you know? So it's like, just to have the comfort, just to have to know where we're gonna be and have a consistent time. Everybody can start moving their schedules around. I'm just talking real talk, you know? Like, everybody's adults here. We're not after school children who, where you know exactly where they're gonna, we need to find a space to create and to have that freedom and that, that flexibility. So um, that was actually something that we just went through with the creation of Pati was, we got kicked out of one space. They ended up closing that space down. We found, we found another spot. <laughs> we finished our creation. Then right on time, we were able to enter the theater. We finished creating the show at the theater, like kind of basically during Tech Week. But yeah, to, to take away that stress, alleviate all of that, and actually have a regular spot to come to, um, it's, been, it's, it's made a lot of difference this whole summer. Uh, we were able to host a, um, a boot camp this summer as well, where we train new artists, and so we did a two-week boot camp here on this stage, and and it sounds good. Doesn't it sound good out there? Yeah. You know, like yeah, we're we're those geeks. We're we're those people who are like, oh yeah, this yeah this you know, it sounds amazing in here. <laughs> we're trying to find that out today. It's like yo, I kind of like it here. So just on those basic levels, but that alone, this is the spot right now. So we we appreciate the city of Las Vegas. Thank you so much. <laughs> And if you are interested, um, or if you know another artist that would like to inquire about uh, this partnership and what we offer, please uh, contact me. I'll be outside after this with some cards. Um, and again, my name is Michelle, and uh, just so happy that we could uh, provide this. So um, could I just ask one of the tech guys, could you put some mics out so that we could um, just pass the mic? Thank you, Danny. Jason Nias um, started the group <laughs> years ago. Um, Thirty fifty, yeah. Um, and it's it's kind of after college. We had we had a group going in college. Different artists. Um, Ali was a part of the original group, and Antoine, but he's not here right now. But so some of us have moved from New Mexico to Vegas, and we were doing stomp together, and then we restarted the group with other artists from here. 
But so it's had its little pauses over the year, but we restarted and invaded back in 2007. Had another little pause, you know, some people went on tour and everything, and we kind of kicked it back off in 2012. So we ain't going nowhere. We some roaches. We don't get <laughs> How am I supposed to go after you and call us roaches? <laughs> My name is Danielle, and I've been a I've been a part of Malai since they stole me. <laughs> this is the truth. Um, since 2018, January 2018, my first show was on Good Morning America yeah. in New York. Yeah. And yeah, they stole me from Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> They said, ooh, you, we want you. I'm coming and we got you. And so they have me. I love it. And it's amazing. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hi, how you guys doing? My name is Colleen Freeman. And hey, hey, hey. Yeah, hey. I appreciate you all. Um, one of the OGs, original members of Mobody. That's an old man. <laughs> 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 we call that, we call that. <laughs> All right, original 2000. So that's 20 years ago. I don't know how long y'all been dancing, but yeah, that's why some of these some of these dance moves I do need to get that um what did I say um retune my instrument because sometimes it gets dried up. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I need some oil sometimes. But anyway, yes. Um, what were we saying? Yes, <laughs> My name is Angie, I'm not a roach. And, <laughs> and uh, this is my brother over here. Uh, I didn't want to really claim him, but I guess I have to. Uh, now, this is my, my, my mentor, my role model right here. And uh, I've been with the group since 2014, so I'm an I'm a old M as well. Okay. And uh, this is actually a special show because it might be my last one before I move back home to Detroit. Uh, so this is really special. And um, also, um, my mentee is in the audience, uh, Malia. This is her first time seeing me perform ever. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And uh, yeah, man, I love y'all. I'm going to fly back to do yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're going to open it up to questions. Does anyone have any? There we go. Yes. Hi, guys. Mm -mm. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Uh, but I wanted to ask, um, what is a rehearsal process for like a new Melody member? You can answer. <laughs> you gotta know where the two and the four is. Don't clap on the one unless it's in five four. Okay, sorry. Yeah, we, we tend to do a lot of drill. Yeah, it's bad music. So if somebody's phone going off in the background, we can start moving. No. We, we start you off with a whole bunch of drills, so if this is your first time in, because a lot of dancers who, you know, you're, you're watching us do the whole thing, I don't know if it looks easy or looks hard, but um, a lot of dancers dance across the floor or up and in the air, but they're not used to going down into the floor. Maybe flamenco dancers, tappers, hoopers, those, you know, percussive dancers. But so the first thing we start doing is tuning your body into becoming an instrument. This all connected to the floor is all part of being a drum. All right, or like this, you know, the octopus with all the legs and the drumsticks and everything. So you got to start really controlling all the different limbs of your body and the floor and the sound on the floor, your weight into the floor and when it's up, when it's down. So we just do tons of drills um, with different rhythm patterns, maybe a little bit simpler in the first week, then we progress and we make them a little bit more difficult. And then later on, we start changing up time signature. But obviously, just though what I just said, we're, we're talking about music. We're putting music in the body. The dance is actually kind of secondary. We do music first, so we really gotta tune your mind and your body into being a percussive instrument. That's what it really is. And that can take different people, different amounts of time. You know, Some people may start catching on really within the first couple of weeks, and some people, it's like three, four months in, they're like, oh! You know, when they finally start to get it. Malik, and yeah, yeah, he's a sponge. He, he remembers yeah. every step from every show. So I just jumped in there. Yeah, he the bomb. They yeah. picked up so quick. And I'm saying this from 20 plus oh, years of experience. Yeah, actually, what are we talking about? All of these. Right. Kiss them. 
Well, they're the people that stage, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but yeah, you, 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 you kind of work it like an instrument, like as if you were playing flute. Any discipline, you just got to keep working, working, working. Um, then it starts getting too the fun part. Like, where we're talking about, you know, talking about stage, talking about music, talking about the music. But there's also ensemble training. Our ears is such a huge part of our playing. Like, you know, talking about stage. But there's also ensemble training. Our ear is so tuned in. This person, even the distance across the stage, it might be about 20 feet. That sound travels and it's different and it's slower or faster. We have to work together as an ensemble. We're feeling each other in the floor. We're feeling our energy. We're feeling all of that. And that just takes lots and lots and lots of being together in the same room, running the steps, running the steps. Other questions? Yeah. Oh, I know you missed this, don't you, honey? You want to come join us? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. I got hurt just watching. Vicariously through that. Question right here. So I have a question. How long did it take until you considered like you were a champ? Like from the first day? So you were like, okay, I can like say I'm really good at this. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm years in, and I still feel like I, I can learn more. So, so it, I mean, I don't know. I was about to say, there's, there's literally, there's no finish line. There's skills, there's patterns, there's things that you can get. And it's kind of like learning a new song. You can't tell a singer that she's finished. It's like, no, there's always another song or a new song to write. There's always something new. And you can always play with your, with your, your mind and your skill set. Like, why just stay in 4-4? Four, four? Why just stay in 6-8? Why not try, what was your? The seven. Oh, that's a, that's, that's a nine, nine, eight time signature. There's always more that you can always do. Yeah, so there's no finish line. In the back, guys. Hi. Um, I really appreciate you guys. So talented, and um, I want to know, like, you know, who, who, when you guys, or who, actually, in your group, maybe Khaled or Jason, that. All of you contribute into the numbers. Like, well, you know, why don't we do this? Or that guy, well, no, we're going to do this. So, how do you guys put together that whole routine? Yeah, it, it does actually change. So, a song. Think of a, you know, like we were saying, when we create a new piece, it may be inspired from one certain thing that can be divided up into, hey, can you think of these four bars in this type of tone, give me something quiet, and, and you can almost set an assignment on somebody, give me four bars, and then we put it all together and see what happens. Or, honest, a lot of the time, your boy right here, this dude right here, yeah. his, I don't know what his brain looks like on the inside, because <laughs> he's disgusting, like he <laughs> sickens me. Oh, and it's disgusting disgusting like, <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like, <laughs> so so oh, you all am disgusting <laughs> we, we name all of our stuff something different and sometimes it actually pertains to the rhythm and sometimes it just doesn't. We we got one called hot butt, we got one called butter squash, we got we just got we got all the different names, but um some of them are so complex and this dude is bringing some of the most complex steps that anybody in the world has seen. Anybody in the world has seen and like I said, we travel the world. This dude right here. So he really does bring a lot, a lot of the high intellectual, you know, quality of the steps in the body profession that, that we're doing on stage. And then we practice, 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 you know, and then we just do our work and we try to create it as an ensemble. Well, can I get the little Oh, speaking of. We can get funding and we can get, you know, <laughs> we got a gift for Michelle. <laughs> yeah, because she's our next recruit. She didn't know that, but she's coming to rehearsal next Monday. And <laughs> actually, what was your name? You came up on stage. Paris? Yeah, Paris. Okay, now. Okay, now. Why my eye like this? We, you better come on. You better, you better act right. You better come on. Look, we're always looking for more people. And like I said, it takes a while to learn the repertoire, learn it. But we're in Las Vegas. We again, we thank the city of Las Vegas because we want this here. Because why not? It, it's just not 
everywhere. You know, of course, the East Coast, of course, down in Atlanta and the South and everything. But yeah, we want to keep doing this stuff here. We do need the people because our product, if you think of it as a business, is the physical people who deliver the energy. So we love new recruits. <laughs> Preach, Jason. We want to see more people. We do practice here every Monday from four to six. So um, again, just shout out to City of Las Vegas and this whole opportunity to be in this world. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. I know this was like, you know, uh, social distancing and not, maybe y'all hadn't been out in a while, but this was a great release for us. We needed yes. this outlet to be able to perform for the first time since March, maybe. Um, so thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the lights, the sound, all the crew and everything. Most love to that. Was there, you guys. Yeah, was there any more questions or we, we can wrap it on up? How are we supporting you guys? Oh, thank us. you. Yeah. Uh, housing to support us? Yeah. Yeah, talk about us. <laughs> yeah. Anything? Anything? Well, I mean, like, it would have been like, if you guys have a website or something, we can go out there. Okay, yeah. You can, 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 uh, or something like that. Right. Other than just come and watch me guys. Yeah. yeah. Will you spell Molotti? M O L O D I. Molotti. Um, if you look that up on Google, all of our stuff is going to pop up everywhere. Some places were just Molotti. Some places were Molotti Live, L-I-V-E. Um, so yeah, you'll find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere. And you'll find our website as well. It's MolottiLive.com. Um, you can email us at Molotti at gmail.com. So it's all pretty easy. Just remember how to spell it. It's not moldy. It's not moldy. <laughs> it's not moldy. It's not moldy. So People have introduced us moldy because they're reading it off the thing, M O L D I. We were like, really? Like, that's not okay. We some moldy, moldy disgusting roaches. roaches. <laughs> <laughs> I better not remember that. I'm like, oh, I saw a show tonight about a bunch of roaches. Oh, I know, it was so good. Yeah, please, yeah. Reach out to us everywhere. Yes, baby. When are you going to do this again? Right? Well, this is just a showcase. That's Somebody's happy. Come on, right? <laughs> um, we are, the answer is, I don't have an answer for you yet. But the answer to the city of Las Vegas <laughs> when COVID opens up everything, the arts are going to come back so strong, and we're going to be right at the front just with everything else. So, yeah, expect us. We're going to be here. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it.